Salam's back. Sophistic Mystic Channel. Um, today, I will be the next one. Regime, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Madikat, Sultan, Aulia, Madikat, Sultan, Ambia, Madida, Muhammad, Mustafa. Today on. You are the ocean. Yes, what does it mean? I mean, all of us know it from Rumi. May Allah sanctify his secret, a very famous poet, Rumi. I mean, there are two things. Because usually the people say, I mean, it doesn't matter, but people say uh, a drop in the ocean. Yeah, okay, we are a drop in the ocean, this is also true, but we are also the ocean within the drop. So, not to neglect this one, very important one. But, now, this is maybe the metaphysical and abstract thoughts of this. I mean, it's also hand in well, hand with Ibn Arabi, that we are one, basically. From which perspective ever you will see it, we are one. And now a more practical thing. So if you are the ocean, and it is true that you are the ocean, but also in a very, let's bring it down to earth, <laughs> very practical, material way. Because people say, okay, you are 80% water. No? Yes, but what water? This is the question here. The water, salt water, so easy. <laughs> you are 80% salt water or 90% salt water. Take this into consideration, it's very important. Nowadays, many people say, this, is, this, is, this talk is about salt. An oil on salt. Yes, uh, I started like two months ago to consume a lot of salt. <laughs> and yeah, just try it. But let's say before theory, <laughs> not so practical, not so quickly practical. We have to have the theory first. Nowadays people will say salt is like not so healthy and not so healthy, yeah? It's basically a poison they will say, no? And it's true uh, for a specific salt. It is a re refinery salt. Like the white salt, which has been totally robbed off its good properties, all the minerals are gone and so on. So yes, this is not good. This you shouldn't eat too much or maybe at all. But the good salt is like the unprocedured sea salt. It's usually a little bit gray. Or maybe people know it, the Himalayan salt, no? It has all the good properties. I think the two manifestations are like, one is the mountain, one is the sea. So the one is more earthly, the one other is more watery, no? So the one will make you more stable, the Himalaya salt, and the one other one will make... But uh, there are slight differences. We'll make it flow and life and so on. Yeah, it's still more alive, the sea salt, you know. And the Himalaya salt will make you maybe calm. So these are the fine differences, in my opinion. They say Himalaya salt doesn't have all the minerals, or two or three minerals are not there. But it's purple, so there are other manifestations of this. Anyway, these salts are very crucial, important. 
we know many people they know that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he used to take a little bit of salt before he eats and a little bit of salt after he eats okay he ate a less we know it maybe he sometimes he just ate two days a day you know so maybe this salt is enough for him and due to our past lifestyles and so on um, we have to wash basically our bodies of all the things oh the salt topic is big I have to also say about the thing against the gin because salt is also against the bad energies in your house you know it all you can put a salt cup of water somewhere and put salt inside and it will soak basically the bad energies in Egypt I heard they are using the salt like salt water they mix the salt and they read the Ayatul Kursi on it and then they take it and they sparkle it around the flat or the house and for sometimes then the bad energies they don't like it basically and then you have those very known salt lamps they are also very good to have in the flat for multiple reasons firstly they as a glass of water they will just soak the negative energy and Second of all, you will have a good um, backup of salt. If you run out of salt, <laughs> you can always cut it <laughs> or whatever. No, just joking. But yeah, well, who knows? <laughs> but third of all, in the evening, when you have the lamps, the red light, the orange light is better for our body system. So... These salt lamps are perfect for just relaxing in the evening hours because the blue light is just making us awake. It's important also. And it doesn't attract mosquitoes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I realized this somewhere. So, and as far as I'm considered, there are many different opinions on this topic, but this salt lamp Historically, I mean, this mine of salt in the Himalayas was found by Alexander the Great. It's historically written. They are like they know it, and in my opinion, it's Lulkarnein. I know there are many opinions on this, but through this, I think there is a extra baraka baraka in this, no, extra blessings. Yes. So this is a big topic, all the salt. So as you can see, it can vanish the things within your house, and if you drink it regularly, it will also vanish the things within you. You can read upon it; you don't have to. Um, if you drink too much, be careful of the salt water. I mean, what I do, I do 300 milliliters a cup, and I do a, put a teaspoon of sea salt. Maybe sometimes more, sometimes less. Sometimes, because if you do sometimes too much, it can lead you to the toilet quickly, like within one hour, flush you, which is also good sometimes. In the Tipu Nabawi, the prophetic healing, it's uh, explained there that the flushing is also a good method. Yeah, so. Because in the beginning I was thinking like, okay, flushing, actually I eat it, and then I flush. It's not respect for the food. But it's, uh, of course, you shouldn't do it like as a hobby. <laughs> uh, but as long as you are ill or have illness within you, it's good, for sure. Yeah. Inshallah, I think like this, yeah. So you can try one cup. I mean, uh, I do like, it helped me a lot, yeah. Within the three months I drank so much salt water and it's easy, it's cheap, it's, it's all the minerals, it is uh, alkaline, Pff, wow. So and like this, your salt water within you becomes the ocean. And I'm sure that the ocean will, I mean there are, they say it even in the, 
what it's called, science, no? They have one atom here and then there is another atom which is like when they are paired, once they are paired, they will vibrate parallelly, basically. So simultaneously, yeah? So like this, uh, I believe that if your inner alchemy will connect to the ocean, it will vibrate with the vibration of the ocean. I hope I didn't forget anything about the salt. Of course, just do it on your own responsibility. I'm not a scientist or doctor. I'm just sharing my experience and thoughts here. At least you can maybe try to do it uh, with the flat to sparkle if you feel something. And yeah, make your flat easy where you live and your body and everything. What I also experienced in the beginning when I took the salt it was it can be a little heavy because it's bringing all the things out. Uh, yeah. So start slowly. <laughs> but better to make maybe one cup a day and continuously for some month you will I mean inshallah you will see results. Appetite going lower and so on. That's good. Salams. Peace be with you. See you next time. All the best. Subscribe. Like. Share.